Hey everybody, it's Ariel Flair and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. I had a hiccup, that was accidental. And I can't believe it worked. In the last episode, we actually defeated two bosses in one episode. And we got to see Prince Peasley and we got an autographed rose. Now we gotta do our advance for bros technique. No, we've already got um we've already got um both. No, we've got Luigi's, we just no, got no, Mario's. We need the, the... Mario's. No. All right, now if we go into this house where it fell. Oh boy, you two arrived at exactly the right time. We just got a not just now a hula block fell down from the waterfall. Check it out. We'll use it to make you the ultimate hammer. Now, this I want you to I want to show you that this is the most incredibly dangerous way to hold the hammer in existence. Ho ho ho! Man, it feels great to be making hammers again after such a long break! In fact, it feels so darn great that we went ahead and made you guys two hammers! Look at the craftsmanship! How? Now you playing with power! Yes, you got that right! These are bad boys, are all your now! See, like... Why? Now you can use the solo hammer action. I guess we gotta teach you guys how to properly use hammers, huh? First, you press the R button to select the hammer. Then press the A button to wax stuff, that's it. But all right now, the only guy in the only the guy in the front can use a hammer. So the action is the guy in the front does with the A button is called the solo action. The action is the guy in the back does the B button is called the bros action. This is the most basic of all basics, remember it? Try whacking all kinds of stuff with those hammers. One manly whack breaks the hardest rocks. You know you want to break the hammer by smashing the rock in the next room. Now, he's lying because you actually can equip the hammer, but if you try to use it... Yeah, they just get mad at each other. What? What? It literally was just letting me. Probably do it outside. Oh, well, we got a nut. Nut. Yeah. Right now, oh, wrong way. That's the summit. We've already done this one. Yes. That was such a pro emoji thing. That's a childish thing, childhood thing you people would know. Just go and just jump right there. I mean, Goodbye, friend. Alright, that's not nut. I have bad OCD. I like to hammer all of these down. Can't you use the hammer on the for the I mean, you can. See, like, what you do is instead of, like, uh, doing the jump, you can do the hammer, and just one drop will come out. Oh. But it's honestly recommended at this point to just do that, because you have no real need. Yet. Okay. I've completely forgot about this. This is another new game. Mysterious minecarts. Destination Hoo Hoo Mountain Base. Capacity one per cart. Uh, mushroom. Syrup. Mushroom. Syrup. Nothing here. I think that's how you get bad. Yeah, this is how you get bad. I like the faces. Faces on what? Just on the bridge. Oh, the the signpost. No, the the bridge posts. How cute. The doggy. He's a cute little green dog. Oh, there are pods. It's been a Goomba's age since we had any strangers in these pods. Now listen, fellas. If you want to ride in them rusty old carts, I won't go stopping you. But I'd advise watching out for trouble. Yep, no one knows where them rails lead. Still, I'll tell you something. You might just be able to find jewels by jumping a bit in there. And while you're hopping for loot, watch out. If you spot danger, just shine your light at it. Oh, mercy. There I go at it again. I'm always born, folks. He is with stuff like this. So, um, tell me, boys. Care to run in the carts? I love how he says they're rusty. You, you, th you think I want to ride something that's breaking down? I mean, eh? It's the only way to go across. But anyways, a new mini game. Let's see how Gabriel will do in this one. Jump. 
Jump. They jumped into it. Is your commentary just like saying things that you're doing? No. I could be though. I'm sorry. For what? I really kind of- you really kind of admire the sprite work for all of these. Are those mush- uh, well, mushrooms do grow in dim areas. I'm not really too surprised. What is that? Oh. oh, that is- I think that's- no, it's not a thwomp, it's called something else. But, uh, if you get hurt in this area, you will actually lose gems, and, uh, it's really detrimental. Why, wow, how much gem do you lose for? I believe three. Wow, that's so fun. I'm pretty sure the limit for this one is just like 10. Or it might be 5. Oh, it is 10. 5 is like the limit that you have to go. Clear! And if we look closer to that guy, the dog isn't even on this side. It's kind of sad. Ah, he's a little again. <laughs> well, fellas, it's Bob Mars' last stop on the long, strange railroad ride of my life. And I reckon new adventure has just begun. Get to it, boys. If we talk to him again, though... You looking to ride again? <laughs> I will say this right now, this one has to, is tied with like, I think one of my, t in my top three games is uh, this. I'll tell you which one is my favorite later, but... As of right now, I'm pretty sure this is in like, this is second. Anyways, but like uh, the old man says, your flashlight is incredibly important because it lets you see exactly where you're going, and it also can get so dark to the point that you can't actually see where you're going. And it's not that the light won't work if it's dim, it's just that if it's completely black, it will not scare anything off. Scare anything off? Well, you know, protect yourself, I mean. Because you saw the bats. You oh. flashed the light on them and it was just like, oh, I'm out of here. I hope I didn't miss anything. All right, again, five plus. There's always five plus. Next stage. Oh, you've made it to level two. Well done, tell you what, I'll set you up with the beans. These little fellas are rare, and don't cook like me, don't need them. Go on, and get beanie. Wow. <laughs> the dog is the most amazing like part of this. Tail. I like everything about it. The tail is just a bonus. Dogs belong with everyone. Now, if we go with another one, we're looking around again. This is level three! I th yeah, okay, I think it's gonna wrap up the difficulty already. Some of them are actually at ground level and you don't actually need to jump, so remember that. Because you actually can jump over gems. So start registering in your eye what you actually do need to jump and what you don't need to jump. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, level 3 is actually a really big pushover. We made it to level 3. Well done here. Have a beanie reward. Now, depending on who you actually control, will actually uh, 
uh, change the starting position you are. If you're Mario, you'll be lower on the floor, or lower next to the door. But if you're Luigi, you're next to the old man. I actually don't know if he has a name. And if he does, I don't think uh, the game ever said it. Oh, that is a... Yeah. You have to keep your thing on the... No! He only missed one. It's not really that big of a deal. Oh, and... Uh, yeah, see, like, there you go. You lost, like, three. Dang it. All right. Well, you did a good job. Oh, no, you didn't. That's why I said, dang it. I completely forgot how much you lost. Bullshit. Because that boo scared me. Well, it's still round two. I like the way Luigi looks. He's like, oh. Oh. No, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Of what? I'm trying to mess up. Well, it's not like uh, I just said. You I'm can not... miss. You can miss a battery or two. You just don't want to consecutively miss them. Okay, I got the jump. Yay! Oh, you can only miss two in this one. Jesus. Next day. You've made it to level two, four. Well done, here, have a beanie reward. How many levels are there? I think there's only five. Uh, this next one I think is the all or nothing. Like, you know, where they're all together. Are you looking around again? No, I think there's one more after this one. Oh no, this is the all or nothing. The fact that I didn't hit that is amazing. I think this is the one you actually have to keep collecting everything, and then like if you miss one, that's it. No! I messed up. Oh no, this is a different one. Alright, as you can see, you got hit by that boo. Okay, you got hit by that boo again. No, I have no way. Alright, so I think there's one more after this one, but you gotta make sure you, I think you get you have to get everything in this one. You have to get everything completely perfect. <sighs> Dang it. I got hit. I mean... Again, I think I think you have like two or three that you can escape. I got hit twice. <laughs> but make sure you don't get hit again. Remember, when you see a boom, make sure you keep your shine your light at them. It's getting dark in here. No, you you have to just like completely shrink them if they're, if they're oh, actually dang. coming close. You also got to keep a watch alive about the about the light. See, they can blow up like that. Oh no! That's it. God dang! It's difficult. Okay, so you actually cannot miss anything. I'm probably going to do the all, all or nothing for one time. You have to. No, like, another time. What? I press B first! The 
looks like he didn't. <laughs> so scared. I was like, please, no! I'm amazed it took this long. Five! Well done, here, have a beanie reward! The dog is just amazingly impressed that you failed that bad. The dog is the best part. Alright, now this next one, we are only going to be doing twice. I don't know if you might, your mental sanity could... I don't know if you yourself as an individual could handle the amount of sheer terror. Oh. Remember, this is the all or nothing, so that means every single level and you're actually going faster. I believe you're going faster. You cannot miss one. Heard me? Yes. You cannot miss one. A single one. You can get hit. I'm pretty sure you can. Oh, that was close. gonna be sprung into the next level next stage okay. this one has a total of 20 so you need to be ha you need to have 35 at the end of this Okay, so you can't get hit. It's okay to get hit, I guess. We've we've clarified that. That's yeah, actually no, good. Yeah, I know. I'm not trying to get hit. Go too late. You only lost one. Where the, oh, I got scared. I was like, wait, where did Luigi go? <laughs> ha! You were trying to mock me. There's volley, there's volley, there's volley. Ha! There's volley, where's volley, where's volley? Ha! <laughs> Next stage. Okay, I think that one's from behind. Nope, this is me. What do you mean, me? You're neither of them. Halo doesn't play the noise if you don't have the freaking flashlight. Please. Who are you saying please to, Jesus? 
you do the same thing with your games, you say, wait, wait! No, that's different! It's the same thing! <laughs> you just hear me in the background screaming, wait! I've done it too. We all we all scream at the game, be like, wait, no! Give me time, please! I'll make it work. I'll make it worth your while. I'll recycle. Oops. Wait, no, not oops. Yay! Wait, where'd he go? Wait, this what? is the one where you don't. Wait, where'd he go? You don't jump. You don't jump. Right? You learned from me, big brother. You now learned how to say wait to video games. I've been doing that. I was making a joke! Oh, no! Wait! So far you've collected 78 diamonds. Well done, here's the beanie reward. You got cuatro. <sighs> All right, now are you ready for the second time? My last time. We will speed everything up at this point and meet you back at that time. I'm sorry, but the way you screamed that made me laugh. It was so genuine, it was so real, and you felt the anger. Well, we're not staying on this for too I long. Know. You win this round. In the next episode, we will be getting out of this cave and furthering our adventure to Bean Bean Castle. See you guys next time! I'm mad, but glad. Let's go. Let's go.